Yo, I'm Eddie Wong and I got high on munchies. I got to make fun of my boy eating a pear in a men's locker room. I got to tell plan B jokes. I, t I told jokes about panda shit. Like, I mean, you can't really do that anywhere else. So it's fun and it, we're not knuckleheads. We're not idiots. We are telling stories that mean something, but in our own vernacular. And that's what I really love. So there it is, the whole shebang. Vice presents Munchies with Eddie Wong. This, this famous cook, maybe what someday is you will cook here. Oh, I will definitely chef here and create a special health menu. Yeah, something Chinese food. Chinese juices, dragon sweat, panda shit. The best. Mm. My name is Eddie Wong. The name of my restaurant is Bao House, and we serve like Taiwanese style street food. Bao just means like bun or bread in Chinese. Everybody has variations on pork bun, but I was like, yo, let's take a step back and do the OG shit. The real authentic Taiwanese way that we've been doing since the 50s. So I wanted to red cook the pork and topping it with the peanuts and sugar and cilantro like how we do in Taiwan and it just really took off. It's not like my mission in life was to like open a bao restaurant. This was kind of the item that made the most sense. It's portable, it's like the Asian answer to a taco. The names of the baos are cool like, you know, the original is named after Chairman Mao because Mao's from Hunan and my technique for the red cooked pork belly is from Hunan, the province, that's, that's where my family's from. And then we got the birdhouse bow, it's chicken. The inspiration for that was Robin Givens because she's the biggest bird in the world. Hate that bitch, ruined Mike Tyson. So yeah, we're gonna go hang out with uh, Detective Max Kosterman. He always sounds like he's interrogating people. What do you got for Don't breakfast, put that on salad? Chef the other dude is Simonez Wolf, Chef Says. I know Says from the door at LeBan. He's always clowning motherfuckers outside, not letting anybody in. He's a funny cat. This motherfucker, the latest one, man. What's wrong with you? You all know Emil. He like produced Runaway. He produced Lana Del Rey's new album. We honestly, we should just eat it. The fucking that new Popeye, that new KFC Popeye is the moves. Really, we all just hang out and we like to eat. So we're gonna go eat at Nanshang, Shanghai style breakfast. Mommy, mommy. After you, Mr. Jimenez. All right, so Flushing is an interesting neighborhood because a lot of people feel like the best Chinese food comes from Taiwan. After the revolution, most Chinese master chefs fled to Taiwan. They came to New York, set up shop in Flushing. First restaurant we went to was Nanshang Xiaohongbao. They do the best Shanghainese breakfast I've had in New York, hands down. Oh, deep bow, deep bow, deep bow. Hey, that's the dismissive one. You think like Chinese breakfast and everybody just assumes dim sum. But dim sum is like a Cantonese thing, like southern China on the coast. A lot of the rest of the eastern coast of China, people like to eat soup dumplings, hot soy milk, crullers. Like these are dishes that you don't usually see in the American canon of Chinese food. So I like people to see it because that's what I grew up eating. I'll tell you what, man. Sweet's Homemade good. fresh soy milk. People don't even Game understand over, Game over. how incredible it is. This is a beef scallion pancake. It's one of my favorite dishes. Where is it? This dish, it's beef and tripe together, spicy oil. But um, the folk name for it is Fu Chi Fei Pian, husband and wife platter. Try that. Really now, soup dumpling 101. I'm gonna show you this. You see a lot of goons poking holes Hooligan. right in the top. Hooligans. Yeah. This is what you do. <laughs> soup dumpling gets a sauna. You put it in the vinegar, let it chill out, maybe 30 seconds to a minute, it'll cool. Then you eat it. This is the only way to do it. You do it any other way. Don't be a hooligan. Don't be a fucking hooligan. Well, I'll eat all right? Soup dumpling. Yeah. And you see all these motherfuckers on Facebook, wow, my favorite food is soup dumplings, and they're like poking them like this. Dude, respect respect. The dumpling. respect.
Don't Can I do this? Don't this be a fucking hood. I don't know. I don't know. know. That looks like some crazy French that shit. Go ahead. Like French, a French, French shit. See, I should host a show teaching people how to do this called So You Think You Want to Be a Chinaman. So you think you can, so you think you can Chinaman. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Grasshopper. Oh, and then after that, we went to probably the best Cantonese restaurant in, in any of the five boroughs, Imperial Palace. Thank you. I can't reach you. Oh, the whole lot. Oh, ninja. Oh, I can't reach you. We're going to go to the two pang xie no mi fan. I got the crab on rice, seafood on pan fried noodles. I got a little fried grouper. I think we're good. Is there a lot of white fans? What are you saying? There's a lot of white fans. So Max was being extra difficult. Like I usually don't go to a restaurant and order like all fucking shellfish dishes. But I asked Max what he wants. He goes, oh, lobster. I'm like, son, we're getting Dungeons Crab. You still want to get lobster? He's like, I, I only want to eat lobster. He wants lobster. He's going to be yeah, difficult when he gets fucking lobster. I just want to try that Cantonese style. How difficult? I thought you were difficult. This guy's fucking difficult. difficult. I thought you were di no, he's he's difficult. The most time, this guy. I'm not difficult. Guy. I'm, just, I'm just proper. We got only shellfish. That's some baller shit. We only order shellfish. Cheers. 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 Cheers, guys. And we got a uh, Dungeness crab over sticky rice there. So they take a live Dungeness crab, butcher it live, take the top off. They'll take sticky rice, then they'll throw it in the wok a little. Then it goes on top of lotus leaves into a bamboo steamer. Game over. That's probably the illest dish out there in any restaurant in New York right now. All right, go ahead, go ahead, Emil. You go in, go dig in, Emil. This is the best part. See, inside the brain, that yellow shit. Get up in the brains. This shit is the best. So this is steamed oyster with XO sauce, chili oil, dried scallop, all kinds of good stuff. And then the fried rice dish that we had was a saltfish fried rice. The protein that you see in there is diced chicken bits, but the flavor for that fried rice is coming from salt fish. And I think I just said fried rice. <laughs> that chinglish just pops its head up sometimes. It's so ugly. Oh, here we go. Oh. I want you to take a photo with your lobster. <laughs> Yo. If people knew Sid was like geeking out, taking food photos like that, like I don't think he could control any door in the city because he stunts on everyone. He like the coolest guy you know, but now he's like got his Yelp on, like fucking taking photos of food for his blog. So it's a funny dynamic, all of us, man. But we don't give a fuck. Like we'll geek out over shit. I mean, we just we act a fool anywhere we go. You see, we act a fool. After Imperial Palace, Emil pussied out. He didn't want to go to the baths. You come in? You wanna go? No, definitely not. No. So then we went to the Russian baths, just sweat it out, because we felt gross from all that food. Yeah. How are you, Simonis? Yeah. We are here at the Russian baths right now. Oh, wow, gangster. Yeah. Max was in there. A bunch of dudes with no drawers on eating a pear. Definitely, let the streets know, that's Max's shit. See, he was eating the fucking pear, you see him eating the fucking pear? It's like no better place to eat a pear than in a locker room full of naked dudes. Yo, I like to just get blazed and sweat. Like, it's kind of cool, it's the perfect thing to do high, because you don't have to think about anything. Like, your mind is just consumed with fucking sweating, and you feel like you worked out feel like you burned some calories even though you did it. So, you know, we just fucking go to the baths. Look at this shit. Some intense.